Okay, what am I most afraid of? Um, you know, that's a that's actually. It depends on when you ask. Um, like when I was a kid, I was afraid of uh, spiders very much. I did not like spiders. Now I can kind of deal with them. Um, I think spiders are, you know, they're a creature. But you know, at the, when I was a kid, I thought spiders were scary, and they just I didn't like the way they looked. I didn't like how many eyes they had. I didn't like, you know, just you know the feeling of them crawling them. It just bugged me. And uh, so, as a child, I was most afraid of spiders. Final scary story. Um, this one is kind of related to the spider thing. When I was uh, living with my father at a farmhouse and my brother, my dad was divorced at the time. There was a. Uh, we lived basically in a place where there was a, like three farm fields beside us. So there'd always be animals and insects and stuff that would, you know, come say hello once in a while. And uh, one night I was watching a movie and my brother was asleep. And uh, in the living room I saw this big shape moving across the floor. And I was just like, what? I looked. It was a big spider. And I don't know exactly what kind of spider it was, but it was big. It was big enough that I could see its eyes. And that creeped me out. And I freaked out and I said, ah! And... My brother jumped up and he's like, what's wrong? I was like, there's a big freaking spider right there. And he goes, ah. So he picked up a baseball bat because he thought someone was breaking into the house. <laughs> so um, uh, what was weird was is the spider knew it was about to be killed because suddenly uh, the spider, when, it, when my brother jumped up, the spider went like this. It like curled up and played dead. And I was just like, that's really strange because, it, you know, it... It must have seen out of its peripheral vision my brother coming because it just like freaked out. And he hit it and it got up and started running, but he got it and killed it. I was uh, taking a shower at my dad's, got out, and I was drying off. And I was like, wow, there's a lot of hair on my forehead. And I looked closer and there was a brown house spider on my head. And I went, ah, and I swiped it and I freaked out. Well, that combined with a spider that tried to watch a movie with me and my brother killed, uh, culminated in a very disturbing dream. I had a dream that I was at a doctor's office and um, I was uh, being poked and prodded by all these doctors. And they're like, can you see all right? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, can, can you see okay? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And um, I was creeped out and I just, I was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And they're just like, no, it's okay. Can you blink for us? I was like, yes, I can blink. So I would blink. And I felt, I felt something weird on my head. And, uh, they said, they said, well, we're going to try and get this off of you. And I, they hold up a mirror. And on the mirror was my head. The bottom half of my face was there. But on the top half was this huge blinking spider. It was enormous. Like its, its legs and stuff went out over here. And uh, that was probably the most terrifying dream I've ever had. And I'm actually developing that into a movie. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was... Uh, it was pretty spooky. Um, that was probably one of the scariest things that ever happened to me um, outside of uh, reality, something that happened in my subconscious.